These ponies have been running wild over on Assateague since the 16th century. Wild Ponies of Chinkadee started ages ago when a colleague of mine, Todd Misero and I, were shooting for another project on Chinkadee. Mm -hmm. Ponies were part of that. That project fell apart. Todd bought the film. We shot 35 millimeter film, giant cameras. And um, we sat on it. We sat on it for a long time. We should do something. And it was easy to put it away. Easy to put it away. Put it away. And finally, we just, you know, Okay, by God, we'll do it. What we needed to find, though, was a kid going through the auction, somebody who's going to buy a pony. And that's not easy to do. I wasn't going to go elbow my way in at an auction and say, hey, how about I shoot you? Get in the who, who, who are you? When what? No. And I called the Feather Fund, and then I, was, then I had a story. Oh, my God. They set me up with... Um, Three kids who were going to go buy mm -hmm. ponies. Um, a pair of twins who, you know, they're red line on cute, Could, shouldn't be allowed to be that cute. And um, Serena, uh, Sabrina Dobbins, a lady from Southern Maryland. Mm -hmm. That's how I found somebody to follow through mm -hmm. that time. So I got to know Sabrina. Okay, we, we lead up to the auction, and I ask Sabrina, okay, we know you're getting a pony. When the auctioneer, says, sold, yeah. sold, points at her, and she just <sighs> falls into a puddling mass of crying, 16-year-old, gooey, trembling, perfect young lady happiness. It was just glorious. Mm -hmm. So I thought, ha-ha, all right. I do a wrap-up interview the next morning. She's got her horse. We're sitting in the park in Chincoteague. And I ask her, okay, Sabrina. You're the producer, you're the director. I know you pretty well, but what did I miss? What should I have asked? And she's kind of shifted gears on me a bit and said, well, I could tell you some of the boo-hoo-y stuff. <laughs> All right, I got a gallon full of tears, but if you want to throw more at me, let's have it. And Dave, she, 16, she, um, she said, I've been suffering from severe depression and just knowing that this horse was coming into my life pulled me out of a very dark spot. I was self-harming and this was the light and the darkness that I needed. So I didn't get the turning hammer off. It was another year of digging through that. Yeah. And that was a, um, that was a, um, a tender walk. That little foal, little Philly girl, my little ching ting pony. This is this is what happens with a piece of the wind.